Uh, we also have our second sponsor, Sam, if you want to take it away. I'm our second sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, uh, welcome new viewers. Uh, every every week or many weeks, I, I am charged with writing the like ad for the sponsor of that week. I did I did this one uh, way back in mid December, so it's it'll feel a little stale. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, I didn't have time to write a new one. Apologies to our sponsor. <laughs> um, but our sponsor tonight, our second sponsor tonight, is Backblaze. Backblaze. They offer unlimited cloud backup for Macs and PCs. You can restore from the web or via hard drive. They'll even overnight FedEx a drive to you. And because it's Christmas season, <laughs> I wrote this. Uh, Twas the night before Christmas when I clicked on my mouse, but the drive wasn't wasn't whirring. It had said adios. <laughs> when up from the cloud there arose such a sight, I knew in a flash that my sh my shit was all right. As I spat out my plate of cold chicken Kiev, down my chimney came a weird little elf named Lev. Yeah. I said, whoa, 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 how'd you get in my place? Love gave me a wink and punched me in the face. <laughs> and suddenly he fired up a pipe and started to restore my computer from a backup he carted. My documents like slash fiction from My Little Pony. My photos like me naked covered in baloney. He, <laughs> he mumbled that you can get backed up at once for a merry little fee of five dollars a month. <laughs> you even get 15 days free if you scroll over to backblaze.com slash critical role. Wow. And just like that, my computer was on, Lev greased up his body, and bam, he was gone. But I heard him exclaim, peace out, yo, what's up? Happy Backblaze to all. Don't forget to back up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll write another yeah. one for Easter, I promise. <laughs> thank you, Sam. Sure. Oh, my God. Uh, so thank you, Backblaze. Uh, happy to have you for uh, sponsor uh, tonight foremost, as well. Uh, uh, continuing uh, tonight's sponsorship with our friends at D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> Uh, our, our, our now uh, long-term partner, super excited to be working with them uh, uh, for the foreseeable future for the time being with the show. Uh, Sam, you have some words, I believe. To plug our good f friends at D&D Beyond, I need my fellow castmates to help me. Can we practice? Can you all say, boo? Boo! Can you all say, yay? Yeah! yeah. Okay, the official digital tool set for Critical Role is D&D Beyond. Yeah! A great service to organize everything D&D, &D, rules, spells, character sheets, and more, all with a pesky pen and paper. <laughs> no, you can access it digitally on your computer, <laughs> mobile, or tablet. <laughs> the cast is using D&D &D Beyond every week, except for Taliesin. <laughs> Just kidding, he is. Yay! <laughs> <And> <laughs> I have to use both the boo and the yay, or else it doesn't make sense. <laughs> he can do cool stuff like activate critical role content in his character builder and create a blood hunter. Yeah! And do you think they charge an arm and a leg? Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't! Yeah. Yeah. D&D Beyond is offering a discount of $10 off any digital book in their shop. Use code BEGINNINGS at checkout. Yay! Yeah. So check him out at D&D &D Beyond. Is that D and D Beyond? Yeah. No, is that D N D Beyond? Yeah. And this spot was written by Sam Regal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Sam. Sure. And thank you, D&D uh, &D Beyond, for being our partners for uh, this first campaign. And foremost, uh, once again, uh, returning and for uh, an extended time for the foreseeable future, our, we are happy to have a uh, sponsor and partner, D and D Beyond. Yeah, uh, uh, awesome, uh, fantastic application for those to uh, to make their D and D characters and storm online and adjust. And I think uh, Sam, you wanted to go ahead and take that yes, away. Yes, uh, D and D Beyond is our awesome sponsor. Uh, it's a great uh, online mobile access thing that you can manage all sorts of stuff. I'm kind of losing my voice tonight cuz oh, uh no. yeah I know so so that I can preserve my voice for the rest of the night uh, Laura, can you can you read the copy and I'll just lip sync it. The joy of sitting next to you. Yes, thank you. Mm. Oh, thank oh you god. As you know, D&D Beyond is the official digital tool set for Critical Role. It's got a ton of features, but one of the coolest is that it keeps track of stuff like hit points, inspiration, and all sorts of modifiers to your dice rolls, which is amazing, especially if you're the kind of person who's more focused on which dice you're rolling with. 
Keep going. <laughs> you know, the kind of superstitious gamer who thinks that the color or style of dice actually makes any difference at all. The sort of weirdo who believes some dice are lucky and some are cursed. Or one of those crackpot shut-ins who uses dice jails. <laughs> those people are lame. <laughs> Anyway, check them out at <laughs> www. Yeah, keep going. Uh, <laughs> dndbeyond.com. That's D N D, not D and D. Mm -hmm. D N D. D N D. <laughs> and get ten dollars off any book in the marketplace with code Beginnings. <laughs> also, Sam Regal is a cockbag. What? No, that's not what it says. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> Great addition to the end. Thank you, Sam. Well done. <laughs> classic. classic. <laughs> and thank you, Laura, for the assist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you, Dini Beyond, for being awesome partners. Uh, uh, first and foremost, uh, returning sponsor and longtime partner for this campaign's beginning, on into the foreseeable future, hopefully, uh, DD Beyond. Uh, they've been awesome for. Uh, Sam, do you have a few words you want to say? Guys, hi, Sam Regal here. Uh, it's award season. Oh, yeah. oh. So tonight I'm going to announce the D&D Beyond Awards. The envelope, please. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Paper cut, paper cut, paper cut. Okay, Yo, I'm nervous, really nervous. There's nothing in here. Envelope is uh, <laughs> Best discount codes for books in the D&D Beyond store. The winner is... Beginnings! Oh, Beginnings oh, is the discount code. Okay. <laughs> Best URL on the entire internet. Oh, the winner is... DNDBeyond.com. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Best picture. It's so stupid. La La Land. Oh. It's Moonlight. It's Moonlight. Best way to build a blood hunter. Oh. 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 Activate critical role content on DNDBeyond.com. <laughs> I'm out of envelopes. Uh, best supporting actor, Sam Regal. Uh, <laughs> best job opening at a D&D related internet company. <laughs> front end developer. I guess they're looking for a front end developer. Someone will put a URL somewhere on hey, here. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, at, at Chris.com, I think, is where you can go to the, uh, the careers tab. <laughs> oh, my. But thank you, D&D Beyond, for being our official what are they calling it? Uh, uh, sponsor? Not sponsor. No, we're they're, they're the the official uh, uh, tool set of Critical Role. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well done. Yeah. Is that the first that's annual award? That's a set award? of tools. The first annual award show. Okay. What should we should we call them? The not the Oscar. The the critters. The crit. The critters. The critter awards. No. no. The no. That's, that's The sponsies. The sponsies. Oh, the sponsies. <laughs> That's, that's good. That's that, was, fancy. that was strangely manic and desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor envelopes. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna house mail. I mean, is it nope. every award show? <laughs> Did you literally write that one in the bathroom six minutes ago? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I still feel like Henry the Marsh would have won at least two of those. But. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, and thank you, D&D &D Beyond. Um, you can find them on dndbeyond.com. That's D-N, the letter N-D. D. Uh, First and foremost, uh, thank you to our returning sponsor and partner at the start of this campaign, and for uh, this foreseeable amorphous future of which they wish to come along with us on this journey, D&D &D Beyond! Uh, they've been awesome, and I actually just learned today of a really helpful functionality that I probably should know about, where you can create your own campaign in there and then send out a link to all of your players and their characters get added to your campaign. So now I have access to all of your character sheets at all times, which was alleviates me having to text all you all, what's your maximum hit points now? And Wait, watch it. did you just have them? What, do, or do we need to send you our character? Well, no, I sent out the link earlier today, and you're one of the only ones who hasn't responded and then you're yet. But in. you will later. That's I okay. I didn't say it. That's okay. I was recording. That's okay. So were we. <laughs> I did look at my phone. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Um, but yes, anyway. All of you guys were texting in your sessions. Yeah, this is true. Right. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. We're that good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, Sam, do you have a few yes. words you wanted to say about our sponsor? I do. Here, give this to Matt. He'll need it. 
Oh, no. Oh. Uh, our partner this week is once again D&D Beyond. That's dndbeyond.com. And the big news is that D&D's newest book, Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes, is available for pre-order now on the site. If you pre-order, you'll get exclusive character portrait frames, sheet backdrops, and theme colors that you can use with upcoming character sheet updates. I don't know what that means, but it sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and the $10 off code, beginnings, can be applied to this order. Uh, to your pre-order. To celebrate, I'm going to personally be giving away one copy of this book to either Travis, Liam, or Marisha. <laughs> but they have to compete for it. Here's the rules. I'm gonna give you a race, class, and character description, just like that you can do on D&D Beyond, and all you guys have to do is come up with the name of that character. Me, uh, sorry, Laura, Tallison, and Matt will be the judges. Oh, so these, oh, oh, oh. Okay, Best so out of three wins, okay. all right? Now so you just have to come up with a name for this character. Okay. Mm. Ready? A male stout halfling swamp druid who only wears a diaper made out of kelp and loves to wild shape into manatees. Mm. Liam, what is the name of that character? Twill Pillikins. Okay. Marisha, what is the name of that character? Squall Squatlock. And Travis? Merkin Dullbringer. <laughs> Uh, judges, who wins? <laughs> oh, Travis. <laughs> easy, wow. easy win. Merkin for Travis. into a, into a swamp through yeah. it was too it easy. It was you, Liam, until, until, until he brought out the Merkin. Remember, these characters can all be made on DD Beyond. Uh, the next one is a male tabaxi bard with an electric guitar who constantly plays K pop songs and has a runny nose. What is his name? <laughs> Liam O'Brien. Bathtub Stealth Cat. Marisha um, Ray. Oh, yeah, sorry, three names. <laughs> Molly Squawk, the J-pop. Yep. <laughs> Hot on. Yeah, okay. Travis? Uh, pubert Pimple Pop. Ooh, oh. judges, judges. I got bribed. Oh. <laughs> Follow your heart. Travis <laughs> again. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm purchasable. All right, I'm one more. We'll give this one, this is worth two points. <laughs> a female Kenku Paladin with no arms or legs. What's a Kenku? A bird. It's a okay, oh, I, I know. Bird person. Bird person. Shut up. Speaks Who worships the lobster headed god Blipdulpulp? Yes! And is a real god, yeah, and is, is dragged around by a pack of reindeer. <laughs> Liam, what is the name of that character? Dagon Henry Kissinger. Oh. <laughs> um. Madame Mannequin Badis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Travis, that's good. Phil McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. Liam, Liam, oh, Marisha, no. Liam gets like two that. points, Travis gets two points, Marisha oh. wins! Hey, <laughs> Gothels, Gothels. I will personally buy you one of those books, Marisha. There you go. Hold me to it. D&D Beyond, everyone. Make your character today. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Wow. That was good. That got, that got weird. Uh, first and foremost, yeah, uh, uh, returning once again this week, our fantastic partners and sponsor for the beginning of this campaign, D&D Beyond. <laughs> Uh, awesome, awesome uh, Dungeons and Dragons tool for use for your campaigns, yes. whether it be a DM or a player. And uh, Sam, do you have something Hi. to say about that? Uh, hey, our our partner this week is D&D Beyond. That's www.dndbeyond.com. They'd like to invite critters to check out and beyond the monthly developer update and Q and A session for D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond product director Adam Bradford will share the latest thing the team is working on and answer questions from the com community. The next stream will take place tomorrow, the 16th Whoa. of February at 11 p.m. Nope, 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Pacific. Check it out at twitch.tv slash D&D Beyond. And to celebrate, I'm giving out a prize tonight. Ooh. It's another contest. All of you can play. And here's the rules. Using D&D Beyond, you have to create a character right now, a level three character, any character, go. That's on our app? Hang on, it's refreshing. I did it. Oh, damn it. No. Wait, I don't see it. It's no. it's there. Wait, she did wait. it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Sphincter, 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 sphincter. Oh, you know what? Uh, no, I, oh, I don't know how to call it. I have 138 hit points. Wow. Wait, at a level three? Yeah, character? Right. I'm Callus. Oh, she's I have 25 15. hit points. Oh, oh, Callus, 25 hit points. Already done, right there. 
All right, Talisman. Ah! But see how yeah, easy yeah. it is to create a character with D&D Beyond? <laughs> a level 3 point hunter. Earth, 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 earth elemental. Uh, love. And, no, I'll, but this and is I'll give really you a hint. Character. Your prize Shit, is attached to my mug. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, 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 leave it, leave it. Oh, shit. Put it back on one of these properly. Oh, life for it. What do you get? You're taking it. Left, left. That's a joke. Yeah, Deep Hollow. Did you just. Congratulations. Yeah, you hit randomize your turn. Congratulations. See how easy it is? We all created the character in like 25 seconds. This random character that I just created is. I'm actually really impressed with this. Really fucking cool. Oh, I don't want to have Sphincter next to Kayla now. It really named it Sphincter? Yes. <laughs> That's the name I gave them. That's oh, as you far did. as I got. You did it. <coughs> Delete. <laughs> oh, there goes Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is your name? Panalananam. 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 There are four N's in that name. I am Panalananam, the wood half elf blood hunter. Yeah. What was yours? Oh. Callus. Callus? Callus. And what was yours, Laura? I was a light, a level 15 fire genasi. Her name was Alight? Oh. Alight. Oh. I am Eomita, cool, right? Deep Hollow, light foot half leg fighter. Dude, my abilities are balls, <laughs> though. Like, I, have a, I have a five dex and a four wisdom. That's that's, that's sad. So we're using you those characters for tonight's game. Anything else well, with the 39-cent menu? I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they better than fours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you very much, Sam. Congratulations, Talson. Thank, thank you for the dollar. And thank I'm you, Dini Beyond, all for being uh, our First and foremost, uh, tonight our sponsor and has been our sponsor for this uh, beginning and onward to the campaign, uh, our friends D&D Beyond. They've been awesome. Uh, Sam, you seem ready to say You guys say know what D&D Beyond is. It's awesome. You should go check out the site, dndbeyond.com. They also now have open alpha access for upcoming mobile, uh, an upcoming mobile app. The D&D Beyond team is looking for additional stress testers, and you can sign up using the following links. Insert links below me. Um, <laughs> Okay. In, ca in case they oh, are, I have to read it. Okay. In case they are, bitly slash d n d i o s and bitly slash d n d android. And bitly isn't b i t dot l y. Bitly. Yeah, they know what bitly. I'm is. just making sure. Sure. Um, and since d and d is such a dorky '80s thing to do, I've composed a dorky '80s jingle for d and d Beyond. Oh, You've got the perfect warlock, the weapons and supplies, but you need a place to track your stuff, cause you're so disorganized. <laughs> you click open the web page, you heard about our critical role. Now you're ready to kick some butt in that mine shaft full of nose. It's DD! DD Beyond, yeah, DD! <laughs> <laughs> DND Beyond. You got your stats, you got your swords, and you got your invisible wand. <laughs> it's DND. DND. Do 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 do. DND Beyond. <laughs> That Whoa. was magic. Oh, I want to see that. that. Oh. We're going to make that, right? Friends. We're going to make that now. Oh. There are moments like this that it makes me a little sad that you're no longer a bard. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we keep the scandal alive and shit like this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Maybe you were singing that in your car on the I, way home from I work. Was. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> action figures busting through walls <laughs> being held by him. <laughs> Thank you. Bro. That was awesome. <laughs> thank you, Sam. You had to imagine the synths. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, they were, we were there. We were there. Okay. And That's thank you, D&D Beyond, for allowing yeah. that to happen, <laughs> as well as being a helpful tool. Lame uh, is was a stepping stone for that moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first and foremost, we have returning our fantastic sponsor and partner for the beginning of this campaign into the foreseeable future, D&D Beyond. <laughs> uh, Sam, do you have a guys? You have check here? out. DndBeyond.com. Uh, they're giving away a legendary bundle on their Facebook page. The legendary bundle contains every digital source available on DND Beyond, all reference books, including a pre-order for Morden Kynan's Tome of Foes. Go to Facebook.com slash DndBeyond. Check out that top pinned post for instructions. Last week, as you all know, I sent out a request saying, send me your stories of DND Beyond. Mail me your stories. So I got some viewer viewer mail to read. Oh. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, dear Sam, you're my favorite on Critical Role. Don't tell Travis. Fucking dicks. Uh, <laughs> Also a big fan of D&D Beyond, but had one question. Was that you I saw in Studio City running around covered only in mayonnaise? If so, what the hell, dude? I don't know what that is. Uh, dear Sam, <laughs> I own a convenience store. We have our, your show on our TV all the time. Love you as not, but please be aware I filed an injunction to keep you 100 feet away from the store. <laughs> we have you on camera stealing jars of mayonnaise and smearing them all over your body. P.S. Uh, D&D Beyond rocks. Okay. Uh, dear Sam, to answer your question, no, we do not consider 16 jars of Hellman's mayonnaise slathered over your naked body appropriate attire for our furry convention. No, it does not matter if you use Cool Whip instead. Your credentials have been revoked. Please stop asking. There's nothing even about D&D Beyond in that one. <laughs> but hey, D&D Beyond! <laughs> I didn't realize mayonnaise could be a fursona, but I guess we all learned something tonight. Thank you, Sam. In the show, sure. it's great sure. camouflage. <laughs> I think Matt went dead inside. I know. That one. The faces I was going on was like, <laughs> what is going on, Sam? <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I guess somebody at this table used to go to furry adventures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Unless you're covered in mayonnaise. Yeah. It's not, it does uh, not go well with the um, All right, first and foremost, uh, tonight, our fantastic returning sponsor for this campaign beginning and in the foreseeable future until they decide to vanish and pop a smoke, it is D&D Beyond. Yeah. Happy to have you guys. Sam, did you have a few words on that? D&D Beyond has a mobile app, guys, and it is out on beta. You can download it now at the App Store and the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Um, and because most, not most, but a lot of our audience is located in the United Kingdom, yeah. I tailored tonight's D&D Beyond pitch oh, to the out. British audience. Oh, <clears throat> wow. I'm so sorry. Oi, mates! <laughs> Have a butchers and be gobbed by this brand new D&D Beyond mobile app for your dog and bone. Sorry, kid. Oh. <laughs> I know my onions on this and I ain't all mouth and no trousers. It's a real corker <laughs> of an app and you can nick yours on the Apple App Store and blimey, the bloody Google Play Store too. Oh, Are God. you skint? Tosh, it's free, and that's the dog's bollocks. You don't gotta be minted to get sorted. There's nothing bent as a nine bob note about it. You get an e-reader with the beta, and character sheets will be added in the future tickety-boo. Oh. Oh, so don't, wow. That's a real phrase that I looked up. Yes, <laughs> so don't faff a dozy fortnight. You'll be right gutted if you do. Oh, sweet Fanny Adams, don't wag off. Search D&D Beyond <laughs> at your app store and you'll be jolly good chuffed about it. Oh, now I'm knackered and cream crackered, so I'm off to Bedfordshire, pip pip. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel like that was Masterpiece Theater all in all I refuse to applaud that. No. I refuse. No, really. Wow. I feel like really it would be really hard to do well, quickly, so I'm going to Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you Sam. Yourself, and we're sorry. Uh, or are. Also, uh, as a quick note for you guys, uh, they began posting article content on dndbeyond.com. Um, which has been awesome. They've done video content before, now they're doing article content as well, uh, editorial, which our very own uh, James Hake, who you may know, uh, helped me with the uh, Tal'Dorei campaign guide, a fantastic writer and a good friend of the show, uh, is doing stuff there now. He's officially on board with D&D Beyond, and uh, he's doing a Campaign 2 summaries right now Sweet. for the Critical Yay. Campaign. It's to be posted every episode recaps every Friday. You can check him out. So, uh, awesome. Congratulations to you, James. And if you haven't checked it out, please do, because he's amazing. Um, at D and D Beyond. Yeah. First off, tonight we have dual sponsors. Uh, first, we have our fantastic uh, returning uh, partners in crime for this campaign, D and D Beyond. D &D Beyond. Yeah. Yeah. This week, guys, D and D Beyond is offering up another discount code for twenty-four. No, I read that wrong. Twenty-five percent off any single purchase in the D and D Beyond marketplace. Use code Invisible Wand. Not case sensitive. At checkout to receive the discount. I've done a lot of things to promote D and D Beyond, and all of our sponsors. Of I've done poetry, I've done opera, I've sung songs, but there's one art form that I haven't explored, <laughs> and that's dance. <laughs> yes. So tonight I will be performing with my yes. invisible wand, a ballet that I wrote to honor D&D oh, &D Beyond. I, I may need a camera person. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. ready? Right. Maestro, please hit it. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see if we can hear it. Oh, here it goes. 
just have to be expressed with the human body. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth that wide, an, an entire new universe is born. <laughs> wow. Oh so, th- oh. so thank you, uh, D&D Beyond, for facilitating that. Yes. <laughs> For us and all the good of the internet. Yes. What would you do every week without sponsorships? You would just explode. I would do this at home. Oh, good. <laughs> he needs an outlet. It's good. Our it's healthy. Returning sponsor uh, for the season, our friends at D and D Beyond. For those of you who haven't checked it out, D and D Beyond. Uh, it's it's awesome. They they allow you to do all your stuff online for your D and D campaign, your character. Sam, have some say about for that. For this week's D and D Beyond spot, I wrote a hilarious skit for me and Ashley to perform together. But she's not here. No. So instead, I'm going to soldier on without her in the spirit of showmanship. Hey, Ashley, guess what I'm thinking right now? Well, hey, there's no need for that language. Oh uh, listen, no, I was thinking how useful DMD Beyond is for tracking your stats. For instance, did you, all, did you see all the new races for, in fifth edition? <clears throat> Asimer, I hardly knew her. <laughs> It would be way better wow. if she were here. <laughs> hey, I've got one. How many turtles does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> exactly. Uh, hey, guys, the promo code from last week, Invisible Wand, is still active for 25% off any purchase from the DMD Beyond store. But, Ash, why don't you tell them the secret other promo code that unlocks everything on the site for free? Well, I hope they wrote that one down. <laughs> also, any legendary bundle owners who purchased prior to Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes can apply the same code to the new book. Ashley, Mordenkainen, am I pronouncing that right? Well, I don't know why you had to bring my mom into this, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, on behalf of DMD Beyond, I'm Sam Regal. And as always, the motto of DMD Beyond is... That's the one. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Sam, and thank you, Ashley. I don't know if it could have been better. I just, uh, yeah. uh, Ashley's parts filled in a little bit. Pretty good. Okay. A little bit, yeah. Oh, man. Emmy nominated, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Fresh, <laughs> freshly Emmy nominated, oh, yeah, Sam. Sam. Yeah. yeah. You have that new image. Yeah, now. buddy. I do. <laughs> um, all right, that's our first sponsor tonight, our second sponsor, and our continuous sponsor for this new campaign, our friends at DD Beyond. <laughs> Here to talk to you about DD Beyond is a, a returning friend of the show. Bonsai! Wave hogs and hoggets, it's Rhodey Slater, king of the kickflip, jamming about the froobs at DD Beyond. Y'all know I love letting my leash out on max shore breaks at Steamer Lane. Rail bang! But when I'm not flashing the shaka at some Quimby on a soft board, I'm chillaxing with my buds with some gnarly role-playing games. Now, I'm partial to Dead Earth, Empire of Satanus, and Fatal. Slotted. But my brohemes are hooked on 5th edition. Which means I get stoked for D&D Beyond. If there's one thing Rhodey Slater loves more than shacked Eskimo rolls, it's diligent organization. And right now, you can go to D&D Beyond's Facebook page and leave a comment on their top tw- top pinned post telling them your favorite moment from episode 11 of Critical Role to be entered to win a legendary bundle for out! So don't be a Benny poser. Head on over to D&D Beyond and enter now. Hang 11! <laughs> Wait, leave it on because you kind of look like a Stelgaeus. You know? <laughs> there you go. Well, if Shikasta comes back later on, you can play his spiritual weapon. That'd be, be perfect. Be uncomfortable so oh. fast. Oh. oh. The character didn't click until he said he played Fatal, and I was like, oh, I know who this is now. I don't even know what that is. I looked it up. Don't. It's awful. It's the third time we've had him in, yes, in, in our right. lifetime. Fan favorite. Man. And by fan, I mean me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank I'm you, a Sam. Fan of my own character. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, Dean and Dion, for being awesome supporters of the show. So tolerant. Uh, <laughs> all right. First and foremost, we have our fantastic returning sponsor for tonight, our friends for this campaign, D and D Beyond. Yeah. They have been awesome. And Sam, you have a few things to say. <laughs> I'm ready. In honor of our impending trip to Chicago. I'm dedicating this ad for D&D Beyond to the second city. One disclaimer, uh, like all accents I do, my Chicago accent is horrible. Hey, Derek Grabowskis, everybody from Wrigleyville to Lincoln Park is talking about the D&D Beyond. Whether you're checking out the bean, riding the red line, or getting a pop at a Black Hawks game, you're always thinking about the Dungeons and the Dragons. <laughs> and right now, if you enable content sharing on the D&D Beyond, and one of your pals has a master tier subscription, your whole campaign crew can share all the materials and the content. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the DM. <laughs> Anybody with a master subscription can do it. So jump on the L. Take the Eisenhower 2 to Kennedy. Oh throw God. back a PBR or, in a, or a 312 and grab a deep dish on me. Because <laughs> life just got a little better with the D&D Beyond. Oh, and don't forget to call dibs on the Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes <laughs> out next month. Pre-order yours on the D&D Beyond site and get all kinds of exclusive stuff and junk. Go Bears! Okay. <laughs> wow. wow. Nailed it. Nailed it one. The balls or Blackhawks or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Sam. Wow. And thank you, awesome folks at D&D Beyond. Uh, and sorry, and sorry. Chicago. Here we come. Sausage. Yeah. Or oh. White Sox, or or. There's a lot of options. Sure. A lot, a lot of, a lot of cool. Yeah. Make sure Sam exits the plane first. Sam exits the plane uh -huh. first. Sam exits the plane yeah. first. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. You're ready. Yeah. Uh, uh, first and foremost, we have our sponsor tonight, D and D Beyond. <laughs> our good friends. Sam, you want to take it? Okay. Look? Let's see if we can do this. <clears throat> good luck. <clears throat> You know, the best part about D&D Beyond is keeping track of your important stuff. And there's one important thing we keep losing. Ashley Johnson, please put this on. So I'm proud to give you the first ever D&D Beyond Presents The Mighty Nine Welcome Back Yasha Ceremony featuring Ashley Johnson, everybody. Oh, there's the award show music. I'm your host, D&D Beyond presents Sam Regal, and we're gonna go around the room super fast to honor Ashley's triumphant return. Didn't work. First up is Travis. None of them work. First up is, first up is Travis when I drink, with toast. When I drink to you, Ashley, my heart is as full as my glass. That's enough, that's enough. Okay. Okay. We got, but there's no time, we gotta keep going. Go I can't do it, do it for me. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to Talison with a song. So that all acquaintance be forgotten. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Marisha has a poem prepared. Welcome back, Ashley, good friend of mine. Goodbye, blind spot. Hello, Nye! <laughs> and finally, Liam pre prepared an old Irish blessing. Oh, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon okay, your face. Enough. We don't have time. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, you are a good and creative person. And D&D &D Beyond wants you to honor the good. <laughs> Wants you, D&D uh, oh Beyond wants to honor the goodness and creativity of the fine folks at 826LA by kicking off the 826LA Charity Push. Yay! For every nat one rolled by us, D&D &D Beyond will be donating a hundred dollars, is that true? Yeah. To 826LA! Yay! So D and D Beyond is retroactively donating for all the nat ones we've rolled so far in this campaign. So many. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's like forty-two hundred bucks. But there's more. Once we hit the ten thousand dollar donation tier level, I don't really understand this part. Critters will unlock a special discount code for the legendary bundle on D and D Beyond. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> 
totally not toxic. It's in my drink. It's in my drink. Was this all planned for Ashley's return? No. <laughs> this was planned far before. But hey, it sure feels like it. So from all of us at the table and the guys at DNT Beyond, welcome back, Ashley. Hey! Cringed oh, as we just showered the table. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Ashley, I'm going to tie it you to your chair like yeah. we're at Applebee's. Lo, don't let them set the lights <laughs> on fire. Oh, I forgot to give you your, your, award, oh, wait, of wait, wait. your yeah. award of excellence. Oh, it's from Jurassic God. World. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh, guys, come on. This is the best. <laughs> My no wormwood has never looked so on, festive. This is a very, this is the most festive D&D game oh, I've ever experienced. Oh, man, I didn't oh, shoot man. my silly string because it's hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to have a lighter, too. Oh, it is. <laughs> Wait, it's hairspray? Yes, yes it is. I brought, I bought, I bought my hair. I didn't even look at mine. That could have gone so poorly. I think I, 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 I bought the wrong thing at the store. I just tried to. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, we almost had an actual me. burning hands yeah, example on screen. Oh, man. Oh, Thank you, God. D&D Beyond, Thank you, for helping yeah. with our wonderful Push for AC6. Oh, we'll have a video at the break today to show and explain some of the stuff coming uh, involved with this whole charity yeah. Push for AC6, so yep. look so for that at the break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man, I love it. So, so go pee, but watch it. Watch yes. it at the break. Our second um, sponsor and returning sponsor are fantastic friends eternally with this campaign, D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond! Sam, if you don't mind. Yes. Uh, 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 give, give. Wow. <laughs> right, star D D Beyond <laughs> is raising money for our greatest favorite charity, A Two Six L A. They're doing a big push now to raise money for this great, great organization that promotes literacy for young young people everywhere. And as part of the A Two Six L A charity initiative. Now that we're way past our $10,000 tier, <coughs> D&D Beyond has offered up the discount code 826LA to get 25% off the Legendary Whoa. Bundle. Hey. The Legendary Bundle includes all the digital materials available at D&D Beyond, so check it out now. And as, as part of what they announced last week, D&D Beyond is contributing $100 to 826LA for every natural one we roll. And to honor that... Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. no. What? what is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what? I've written a folk song. I don't think it'll always be your crush. I, I hope it's just all your crush. I didn't know you played. Three I'm episodes from now, he's going to bring in a gospel band. I don't <laughs> this okay. this you Cold War play? escalation is going to kill us all. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I need participation for this one, guys. You got okay. it. Oh, God. Okay. When I call for it, you have to you have to say the number one. Okay. This is all in honor of us rolling ones, right? Okay. okay. We're roll. We're we're la la. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we're rolling ones. Rolling them every night. We're rolling ones. Uh oh. So rolling them every oh, no. fight. How many times has Ashley been back? One! How many times has Caleb <laughs> How many times has Caleb had a bath? One! How many testicles does Sam have? One! How many chords are there in this song? One! Two. 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 <laughs> What's the past tense of win? One! <laughs> What's Obi Kenobi's middle name? One! <laughs> <laughs> What's a synonym for pasty and pale? One. One. Thank you, Liam. Yeah. What will the Washington football team do when they face the Cowboys? Most we have returning tonight our fantastic sponsor and friend D&D &E Beyond. Yes. Sam, 
As we've previously announced, D&D Beyond is contributing $100 to 826 LA for every natural one we roll, and that's a lot. God damn. Also, as part of the 826 LA charity initiative, now that we're way past our $10,000 tier, D&D Beyond has offered up the discount code 826LA for 25% off the Legendary Bundle. The Legendary Bundle includes all the digital materials available on the D&D Beyond site, so check Beyond it out now. Beyond the server. And a quick history lesson. I did some research. D&D mm. Beyond, actually, even though it's a popular modern website, it started in the in the 80s, uh, when, sort of like when D&D started to get popular. It didn't catch on because there was no internet, but right. they still had the website, <laughs> and they, they did an ad push for it, and I found a script from their earliest ad Whoa. that they put out. Yeah. It's a little dated, but it's oh, a it's a nineteen no. eighties ad for D and D Beyond, <laughs> and me and my friends here are gonna act it out for you. <clears throat> okay, uh, we fade in. Uh, <laughs> we fade in on, on a teenager's room. Knock knock knock. Son, turn down that Whitney Houston tape for a second. Grody to the max, Dad. It's Pet Shop Boys. Whatever. Did you do your homework? No, duh. And now I'm gonna watch 21 Jump Street on that brand new TV network, Fox. Richard Grieco is bodacious. Well, your friend Gail is here to play that game you love. Punch Out, Contra, Operation Wolf. No, no, the one your Aunt Pam says was invented by Satanists. Dungeons and Dragons! Hey, Gail! <laughs> Hey, Gail, where's the beef? Eat my shorts, dude! Gail, are, are you sure D&D is safe? It scares me like rap music by Public Enemy and LL Cool J. Take, and a, <laughs> take a chill pill, Dad. D&D is radical. It's as trustworthy as current Democratic presidential nominee Gary Hart. Wow. He is trustworthy. <laughs> and now it's even better with D&D Beyond. With high-speed internet, Wi-Fi or a smartphone, you can access your stats and more on your iPad or laptop. Have any of those things been invented yet? Gag me with a spoon, Mrs. Henderson. Righteous. Now I don't even want to go see that brand new movie, The Lost Boys. I just want to play D&D. Cut to Travis. D&D Beyond, available now exclusively at Sharper Image, Sam Goody, Circuit City, Tower Records, Comp USA, and Crazy Eddie. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. That was, that was amazing. How, yeah. how on earth did you not put a Growing Pains reference in there? <laughs> this is all heavily researched 1987 facts. <laughs> thank you, Sam, and thank you, D&D &D Beyond. First and foremost, uh, congratulations, Sam, on his Emmy win last week. Yeah. You suck. Which, uh, I did it, guys! You did it! And thanks to the uh, one of our wonderful sponsors tonight, I was able to add an Emmy to his inventory from my phone just yeah, moments I'm ago. Look at my inventory right now. <laughs> what? Uh, where, where? What's it? <laughs> it says Emmy Award of Exempla. It won't tell me for the rest of the title. <laughs> <laughs> Exemplary talent. Oh. It's a wondrous item, rarity, legendary. This enchanted statue is given to the finest of creatives in the land. Oh. <laughs> it's a largely thin, thinly coated lead icon made of cheap material. <laughs> Take a picture of that later. Oh and That's that, so cool, that object brought to you by our uh, first sponsor tonight and sponsor for the campaign thus far, friends at D&D Beyond. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, as you know, this week I received <laughs> many, many emails from fans who loved our D&D Beyond ad last oh, week. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they told me that I had missed part of the story. So just to recap, A26, uh, 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 our, our sponsor is D&D Beyond. They are, they are uh, contributing $100 to 826LA for every natural one we roll. Also, as part of their massive 826LA charity initiative, uh, we're past the $10,000 tier, so D&D Beyond has offered up the discount code 826LA for 25% off their, their awesome legendary bundle, which includes all the digital materials available on D&D Beyond. So, last week, 
to honor that, I had dug through the archives and found a commercial that D and D Be Beyond had run in the '80s, <laughs> and we did sort of like a stage uh, stage reading. It was of great, it. yeah. Right. Yeah. So fans wrote in and said, "Sam, you missed part of the, that story. Oh. The the ad campaign in the '80s mm -hmm. was not successful. However, it launched the career of the young actress who played Gail." In, in in the commercial, she was given her own spin-off sitcom on CBS. It only ran four four episodes, and those episodes have been lost to time. But I was able to find the script of a promo for the sitcom starring Gail from the D and D Beyond commercial oh from the eighties. Wow! Yeah, wow. it's really. I found it in the archives, and we're going to do a staged reading <laughs> of this promo oh for this sitcom. <clears throat> Brought to you by D&D &D Beyond. Oh boy. Uh, I'll be playing announcer reprising their roles will be Laura as the mom, Taliesin as the dad, and Ashley the Johnson as Gail. <laughs> Gail! <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is, remember, it's so, so so picture it. You're you're watching TV. It's 8:30 p.m. prime time, and this promo comes on. This fall on CBS, it's the hilarious sitcom everyone's stoked about. You've got Gail. There are holes in all of my business pants. Gail, take a chill pill, Mrs. Henderson. I need those crotches for my whole mech project. This says, sew a quilt of fabric swatches, not fabric crotches. Oops. That, <laughs> that, that lovable scamp Gail gets her foster parents, the Hendersons, into totally gnarly situations. Did you do your chores, Gail? Yeah. Now I'm going to put on my British Knight sneakers and see that brand new movie, Labyrinth. <laughs> Not so fast, young lady. I found my tuna casserole in the garbage. No doy, Mrs. Henderson. <laughs> you said take out the trash, and it was the stiggiest thing in the house. Oh, but it's not all fun and games. You've Got Gail also tackles serious issues. Gail, <laughs> your friend from school was just in a car accident. She was... Drunk driving. Gag me with a spoon, Mrs. Henderson. Yes, Gail. Gag us all with a spoon. <laughs> you won't believe the trouble Gail... <laughs> you won't believe the trouble Gail gets into every Thursday night. Gail, why didn't you do your report on first ladies? Because current first lady Nancy Reagan gave me some bitching advice. What kind of advice did Nancy Reagan give you? When teacher says do your homework, just say no. Gail! Gag me with a spoon, Mr. and Mrs. Henderson. <laughs> An all new You've Got Gail, every week right after Growing Pains and before she's the sheriff. Presented <laughs> by D&D &D Beyond. Oh. oh my god, it's just yes. too real. It's better than real. The character of Gail is amazing. I, <laughs> man, I don't know why. You hit gold. If Yasha ever leaves us this campaign, yeah. you already have a backup yeah. character. Yeah. Can I ask how you spell doy? Uh, D O Y. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I just got a I just got a text alert. They just uh, revoked his Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances. Thank you, Sam. Sure. And like thank you, D and D Beyond. Text alert. Oh my God. For for making this happen. Next up, we have our two sponsors this evening. Uh, two. First, yes. Two. First, two. I only prepared one. What's happening? I'm doing the second one. You're okay. fine. But our first sponsor this evening is our returning friends at D and D Beyond. <laughs> Sam. D and D Beyond, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Matt's. Uh, so D and D Beyond is our fabulous sponsor. They're here every week. Uh, they put these things on our iPad. I mean, our tablet devices <laughs> uh, that help us uh, track our stats and stuff. And they wanted us to let you know that this week, um, Matt Mercer's Gunslinger Fighter subclass is now available on D&D &D Beyond. Yeah. In the character builder, critters can begin creating their version of Percy right now on D&D &D Beyond. Pretty no tight. Mercy, no mercy. And uh, they actually already have started creating their own versions of Percy and loading it with the features that we, we've come to love about Percy. So uh, I've compiled a list. It's the top 10 list of 
Percy features being added on D and D. Everyone, uh, just a little so little light drum roll if you could. Okay, good. Number ten, extra long pompous names. <laughs> Number nine, skin so white it claps on the ones and threes. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, bags containing gunpowder and Victor fingers. <laughs> Number seven, that feet where your dice always roll 20s, even though they're not cursed by a demonic ritual. I was wondering if they're going to put that in. Yeah. Number six, blue hair dye. Yeah. Number five, steampunk bifocals. Lots of gear. Number four, giant bathtubs that comfortably hold a female half elf under the water for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you can add these features to your Percy. Number three, Throat bubbles. Number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> wit and tact. And the number one Wait, thing. What, what, what? Wit and tact. Oh. And the number one thing being added to the gunslinger class knives. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Is that you guys could uh, use the, the gunslinger fighter archetype, uh, as well as a new feat that goes along with it that's on there as well. Uh, too, which anyone can take to learn, learn firearms, be better with firearms, even if you're not a gunslinger. So uh, check it out on the app. Thank you guys at D&D Beyond for being awesome and for you for supporting them. And Sam, you want to talk about our other our sponsor yes. for the evening? Our second sponsor for the evening is Backblade. Back. Don't know black backblaze. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> if you guys don't know backblaze, it is unlimited cloud backup for Macs and PCs for just five dollars a month. Yes, backblaze uh, stores docs, music, photos, videos, fan art, and more. I use the service, and to be honest, I've always thought it sounds magical. Well, guys, I discovered that it is actual magic. Fairy magic, to be exact. In fact, I captured one of their head fairies, oh, Yev, no. a little sprite named Yev, in this trash bag. Whoa! We're <laughs> jumping, jumping around. Oh. He jumps around. Oh. Can we just settle him down in here. There are no Yev. air holes. That's so irresponsible. It's okay. He's he, he's, he oh, 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 magic is real. Wow. <laughs> magic is real. <laughs> I have him right here in the bag. Yev, Yev, how does backblaze work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says you can restore files anywhere via direct back download. Did you think that was going to be loud enough? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a backup. That doesn't work. He says you can restore files anywhere via direct download or restore by mail and receive a hard drive with your files. Yes, yes, Yev, yeah, but how does Backblaze keep all those backups for such a low price? There it is. <laughs> Wait, Yev yeah, says that they harness the power of love to store data? And that that love also sustains your life? <laughs> Wait a second, without your your love, oh, you'll crazy. die? <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, everyone! Yev is sick! No! Maybe, maybe the power of our applause will cure him! Everyone clap! Yeah. Oh, oh. oh my god, no, it's made it worse! <laughs> His lung has collapsed! He's bleeding internally! Oh my god, what can we do? Uh, he says that not enough people have visited backblaze.com slash <laughs> Slash critical role. You're shaking it. That's him shaking. It's not me. <laughs> not enough people. My puppetry work is amazing. <laughs> not enough people have visited backblaze.com slash critical role to sign up to get a 15 day free trial. Critters, if you want Yev to live, you need to click on the site right now. Oh, God. Oh god, he's flatlining! <laughs> he's dead! No! Yev is dead! The Backblaze Fairy is dead! No. Oh! No. Oh! No. oh! What? It's a miracle! No 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 Enough! Oh, <laughs> Enough critters! <laughs> Enough critters visited backblaze.com slash critical role and signed up! You saved his life! We can continue the show. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god. You are, a, you are a master of building tension. <laughs> back, you earned it. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh Puppetry. Wow. That was a real fairy, guys. Oh. 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 
the, the Jim Henson yeah. studio was mad to yeah. let you go. All you uh, need. How you ever snagged it with just a kitchen garbage bag is beyond me. So He's thrifty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A child's lightsaber <laughs> toy thing? Don't Damn. ruin the ocean! Yeah. What are you doing? Never Why sure are you doing us? us? Never show your tricks. Stop it! Yes. Yes. So quiet! I know, it's just too quiet. The fairy escaped and left us presents. This is the best one right here. It's a dragon. Oh no, it ran out of batteries! There we go, there we go! Everyone calm! Yeah! Oh, it's alive! What oh, honestly? Oh, my face hurts. Thank you, Sam. Oh. And thank you, Backblaze, for your amazing support. Oh, uh, first and foremost, returning. For tonight's our fantastic sponsor for campaign two thus far, our friends at DD Beyond. <laughs> Yes, D and D Beyond, a consistent and amazing sponsor of our show, wants to wants to let you guys know that Mordenkainen's Tomb of Foes is out. It's out. Get, get yours right now on the D and D Beyond website. And to celebrate, I called my old friend Rudy Slater. Oh, no. <laughs> ready? Hang ten kahunas in wahines, it's Rody Slater. Duck diving the word from D&D Beyond. Yank that leash and wrap up the Dawn Patrol, because if a player in your campaign has a master level subscription, any player that owns Mordenkainen's Tomb of Foes can share content with everyone in your party. Frothy, right? Well, kick out your longboard, because... Because... <laughs> You know what, guys? I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, no. I can't. I can't do this. Sorry. It's not. It's not D and D Beyond. They're a great sponsor. It's. It's me. You know, like. I just felt like, at this point in my career, I'd be doing serious <laughs> shit, like Ibsen or O'Neill. Yeah, it's a scaling twist. But I'm like, I'm doing this shitty Keanu Reeves voice <laughs> and writing crappy sitcom catchphrases. No offense, Ashley and. <laughs> Like, okay. you know, this stuff's gonna live on the internet forever. Yeah. And yeah. my kids are gonna watch this and be like, wow, your dad was a loser, you know? It's, yeah, that's what I, we think. I just time. feel like yeah. there's, They're I can do so much more. Oh, sorry, getting a phone call. This is embarrassing. Hello? Yeah? Uh huh. Really? Yes, yes, I, I accept. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was my agent. Guys, I booked a two-spot local radio campaign <laughs> for for Lord of the Wings, that new wing place oh, in Chatsworth. Please, two that. radio spots. Oh. I'm a real actor again. I'm back. All right, where was I? So wax down your, that twin fin and pull a thruster on an epic left, because D&D Beyond is righteous. Bonsai! Oh, wow. Oh, what a crazy oh, yeah. turn of events. That's, that's why I'm so happy. I'm so proud. Out of you. Really you did it, Sam. Congrats, man. It. Congrats, buddy. Wow. <laughs> Hashtag booked it. That was so authentic to the actor experience. Oh. Man. Yeah. And really believable. Wow. Yeah. And Lord of the yeah. Wings is not a bad restaurant. No, Lord it's a no. really average. And it's a, it's a regional spot. Yeah, yeah. regional yeah. Place. I might get some. I might get some residuals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on, a, on a side note, Matt, you look so quietly pained to hear Mordenkainen and bathed in whatever that was. I, I, I wasn't pained. I was more contemplating the fact that those two facets have never combined until this point, probably. Uh-huh. Yeah, probably haven't heard anyone talk about you know Odalux Resilient Sphere. You know, I, so you know. I, I kind of, uh, I kind of like the prospect of like a, like a super big sur surf tour of D and D wizard names. <laughs> Uh, Lord Something of the wrong. Wings, oh. I, I would go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Lord of the Wings. Oh, man. Mordecai Mor 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 Wings. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. There you go. Shit. Let's do it. Road no. trip. Road trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh Drink your pasta with sarum on the white sauce, or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, no. All right. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, d, &D Beyond, Sam. for being our amazing no, sponsor. Congratulations on your booking. Fantastic friends and sponsors of this campaign thus far, and going on into infinity, D&D uh, &D Beyond. Uh, Sam, if you want to talk a little bit about that, please. Uh, hey, everybody. D&D uh, &D Beyond wanted you guys to know <laughs> that Morden Kanan's oh. Tome of Foes is out, 
big news here, guys. It's not Mordenkainen, and it's not a tomb of foes, as I've been saying it. It's Mordenkainen's to tome of foes. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and you can purchase it right now at D&D Beyond. Uh, on their website. Also, if a player in your campaign has a master level subscription, any player, not just the DM that owns Morden Kanan's Tome of Foes, can share content with everyone in the party. But the real announcement tonight is that D&D Beyond has gone beyond, and they've made a thing that I, that I made, but then they took it and they made it, but it's even better than I made it. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna play it for you tonight, and you might enjoy it. And I don't think, have you guys seen it yet? We're no. about to. No. Oh, this is, I'm it's so, so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, uh, roll that tape. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Got the perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies. But you need a place to track your stuff, cause you're so disorganized. You click open the web page. You heard about a critical role. And now you're ready to kick some butt in that mind shot full of no. It's TNT. They We're did it. The 80s cartoon. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Really uh, emotional. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's all so of our emotional. characters animated. Uh, we have to give some some shout outs. Um, Massive props. Yes, to Camille oh, and gosh. Kevin. I'm sure I'll say their last names wrong, but Camille and Kevin. Ariopajita, <laughs> Ariopajita, for for working on this. Uh, those are the animators. Yeah, such an uh, incredible job. Go yeah. visit at uh, Twitter at uh, K A R E K A R E. Uh, we'll put it up on the thing, um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can visit uh, their Patreon, uh, Patreon.com/slash K I Frame, um, and it's really cool it's and really and it's really fast. So we thought, I mean, yes. we, we thought yes. we might just play it again. 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 One more time. One more time. You got the perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies. But you need a place to track your stuff, because you're so disorganized. You click open the web page. You heard about a critical role. And now you're ready to kick some butt in that mind shot full of no. Vocals, son. That shit. How layered was that uh, harmony? That's some good huh? stuff. How layered was that harmony at the end? I, I, did, I did like seven or or twelve <laughs> tracks of harmony. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff oh going God. on in the background. The synth, the synth gives me '80s life uh, in the best so way. Good. It's so and fantastic. The drum fill, the it's a real drum fill, but it's also all, me all going. Seriously, Camille, Kevin, Audio Pachita, you guys are amazing. Such an incredible job on that. I'm gonna plug that Patreon again because they deserve it. That's patreon.com slash keyframe, K-I-F-R-A-M-E. Go check out their work, they're fantastic. I think we'll be watching that in repeat till 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can we all cry to get a whole game tonight? I mean, it wouldn't be a critical role if we didn't at some point. Uh, thank you, D&D Beyond, for being uh, fantastic partners in this and for making that shit happen. Um, okay. 
Moving on. <laughs> oh man. Emotional uh, pride. I know. Uh, Announcements tonight. We have our fantastic returning partner in crime for this campaign thus far. Our sponsor, D and D Beyond. Sick. D and D Beyond, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, there's an animated thing that if you haven't seen, you should check out. Uh, yeah. um, that's pretty cool. As announced during the sc- stream of Many Eyes this past weekend, new adventures, Waterdeep Dragon Heist and Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage are now available on Laura's phone uh, for pre-order on D Ampersand D Beyond. A note to that, actually, too. The, uh, the Dragon Heist adventure, I was one of the story and creative consultants on for that book. Oh. So. So I, I got, I got to put a little bit every now and then, but I got to put a little bit of my flavor on there. Uh, so many great people put it together. I was just happy to be even a part of it. So wow! I like how none of us knew that. <laughs> great friends, guys. It's really uh, just exemplifies our relationship. <laughs> check out the check out the D and D Beyond marketplace now to learn more and order now. And the the great thing about D and D Beyond, guys. <laughs> is that it simplifies managing your stats and inventory so you can just focus on creating. Creating new encounters, creating new characters, creating new monsters. And I thought I would inspire our audience by showing them what kind of, uh, some samples of some new monsters that they could create. Now you can use the same old stats, but maybe give them a little new spin or a new flair. And to help, uh, I made some artistic uh, interpretations of some of my new monsters. So these are some new monsters you can create. You guys have all heard of a boulette? Yes. Mm. We fought them? Yes. Well, this is a (laughs) bullet. It's a female bullet. (laughs) You can tell because it's pink. Wow. Yeah, I printed out a picture of a bullet and I colored it in pink. It looks like a bloody bullet. (laughs) And it only fires once, so it's a it's a very quick encounter. Okay, Uh, you've heard of a displacer beast? Oh yeah. Oh god. This is a despacito beast. (laughs) It's it's the same thing as a displacer beast, except you hear. Puerto Rico. <laughs> when it goes invisible. It's terrible. Is, they'll actually go invisible, though. Continue. Okay. Which is a problem because it blows the invisibility. Here's the thing. Yeah. Children draw these? No, I drew you? these. I drew wow. these. Wow. Uh, you guys have heard of an owl bear. Oh, no. Well, what about putting a little creative spin on it and making it? A bowel bear. Oh. It just has it has crippling oh, IBS. No. Oh, there's more guys. It could also be like a Froyo factory. I mean, that's yeah, not. It that's... has a shit spray attack. Um, here's here's one I'm pretty proud of. You guys, uh, there's a monster in the manual called the giant wasp. Yeah. Well, this is the giant wasp, but he's a white Anglo-Saxon person. <laughs> A wasp! You know, a waspy guy! Are you even going? He's a wasp! Is that what the P stands for? Yeah. I don't think that's... It's not true? No. I don't know. I don't feel like you're reaching. Okay, there's two more! Jesus! Please stop. can't believe everything you've on the internet, man. Okay, there's two more. This is a bone dirt devil. It's a bone devil that cleans up after every fight. Did you draw that one? Yeah, I drew that one! Oh, God. Last but not least, Oh, it's a fanticore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a manticore with Fanta as a head. There's a lot of work that went into this. You could tell there are Xerox copies. Like the bone dirt I devil? do, I do. I kind of want a fanticore yeah. right now. A yeah, fanticore I'm kind of down with. What, what kind of what flavors does the fanticore come from? <laughs> Dangerous and well branded. <laughs> Guys, there were more that I didn't even draw. Wow. <laughs> there was the, the Lin Manuel Miranda Bolith. <laughs> There was a Nick Frost giant. Oh, oh that's my God. God. He always has Simon Pegg with yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Well, hold, Check out more on my website. <laughs> save, save those for the next Sam Regal bundle you can buy on D&D Beyond yeah, six yeah. months from now. I'm pretty sure the only monster here is you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Sam. Sure, sure. Yeah, and thank uh, you, D&D Beyond. Beyond. Fantastic sponsor of Campaign 2 up to this point and going forward for hopefully infinity. Uh, D&D Beyond. Sam, if you want to take it away. I will indeed. Uh, Guys, D&D Beyond will be streaming tomorrow, June 15th, live from Origins Game Fair. Uh Uh-oh. I've I've forgotten something in my car. Laura, take over. Uh, No, what is he doing to me? (laughs) From Origins Game Fair! 
Check out twitch.tv slash D&D Beyond and not and starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time to catch interviews. It, the oh, monthly oh. D&D Beyond. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buenas noches. I am the masked vigilante named Storo. I fight injustice and defend the innocent in order to send them to the D&D <laughs> Beyond Storo. <laughs> No. Oh, yeah, no. the, yeah, yes. No. <laughs> Mine is a dangerous cause, filled with scary monsters, vile beasts, devilish devils. All of them can be found in the various monster manuals at the D&D <laughs> Beyond Storo. <laughs> Aha! What is this? It is a generic tablet device <laughs> displaying a handsome array of content and inventory to streamline your tabletop gameplay. Sorry. Why, this can only be the infamous handiwork of D&D Beyond. <laughs> With my blade, I cut down on prep time. I slice my physical book collection in half. I slay the enemies of book management, for I am <laughs> click, 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 Storo, and I will never stop fighting until our D&D Beyond contract expires, <laughs> and then I will stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Who wow. was that masked man? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, guys, what? Did you what? find what you needed in your car? Yeah, I got, I, you know what? It was right here. It was this thing. Oh. Check out the twitch.tv slash DD Beyond starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time to catch interviews, the monthly DD Beyond dev update, QA, and a live play session with exclu exclusive reveals from Dwarven Forge's upcoming KS5. Whoa. Six. I don't it's know what that is. Kickstarter. Oh, there's six Kickstarter. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> TLDR. All this time. I didn't Here. plan any commercial today. It, wow. it was just. Wow. There was a guy that. You know what? It's not important. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Sam. All right. Feels like the longest walk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. You know the thing when you find a mask at home and you're like, I, I can do a bit with this. <laughs> that's the. That's the whole oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sam. No, and thank I you, Dini Beyond. Um, <laughs> Storo lives on in our hearts. Oh. Hopefully, oh. only. Uh, first and foremost, we have uh, our first sponsor for the evening. Our recurring friends at the wondrous D and D Beyond. Uh, D &D Beyond. Sam, you said you were prepared in advance for this one. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> well, I was, I was, I've been getting, getting a lot of questions lately about like how do you write these ad things, and I kind of, you know, I make it sound like oh, I just come up with it on the fly. It's not true. I, I spent a lot of time. In fact, I have a file here. Oh of rejected ads oh, oh, no. oh. that I didn't deem good enough to use mm -hmm. to promote our friends at DND Beyond, dndbeyond.com. Go there, sign up, use their service like we do. So here's just a few, I'm just gonna rifle through my files. This one's terrible. <laughs> um, it's, it was a pirate one, I was gonna wear an eye patch and yeah. go, ahoy and welcome to DND Beyond. Um, <sighs> grab your duffel, set the binnacle, and follow the freebooters to dndbeyond.com. But it, it didn't make sense. No, yeah, that's terrible. Really bad. That's this terrible. one was, uh, this one was, I was gonna do a Travis impression. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bros, how about that Cowboys game, right? When Prescott hit Hearns on that outside post route. Hearns doesn't play for them yet. I, First season. <laughs> I nearly spilled my natty light all over my all over my Emmett Smith commemorative Snuggie. <laughs> it's a very Emmett Snuggie. Man, I love sports. The smell of grass, the sound of marching bands, the sight of 22 men pounding each other for. All right. <laughs> Uh, here's an early draft. Too real. Too real. Um, here's an early draft of the f now famous D and D Beyond jingle. Oh. I went through many drafts of the lyrics before I landed on the primo ones that we got. <coughs> oh boy. <clears throat> you got your perfect wizard, his tomes and his supplies, but he burned his entire family to death, and now he's traumatized. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a little too dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, this one, what was this one? Our tests indicate that your rash is spread to the groin area. Nope, that's not it. Wow. Um, <laughs> that was a different file. Yeah. Uh, I had this one, this one's really conceptual. Uh, here, I'll do it. Uh, Matt. Yes. Matt. Yes. Matt. Yes. Matt. Yes. 
That's all it says. It's oh. just mad. It's just mad. I just keep going and saying mad. It wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. <laughs> this is why it's rejected. <laughs> Uh, oh, this one. This one is specific. Very, for, very Tim and Eric of you. I respect that. <laughs> uh, this one is specific. We're all excited to meet Laura and Travis's baby. Oh, okay. So I consulted with some computer whizzes. We did some facial recognition to find out what their baby would might look like. Oh no, no! It's Please got, tell me this is true. It's, it's got, oh, no. what it's got Travis's eyes, Laura's eyebrows. And why don't you just feast your eyes oh, on this? <laughs> This beauty. That is, I mean, so terrifying. that is some Planet of the Apes. It's like a Ferengi from Star Trek. Yeah. It is definitely yeah. your mouth. That's Travis's beard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like just the chin strap part, though. That's really a blanket wow. of me. Yeah. Yeah. And then the the other one I, I had, the other one I had was flowers for you oh. to say sorry for that last bit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And that concludes the file. I, that's all I got. The, the other things in here were just were just the pictures that I cut out. <laughs> you guys from. Oh jeez, that's all. Yeah. Very oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's good. That's that's the final one. <laughs> so you, there's more rejected ones, but uh, you know I'll read you those another day. There we go. Bibi, Bibi, I I got my class it's for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you Anthony Kiedis, that's who that picture looked like. I had to remember his name. Show it again. It's Anthony Kiedis. I'm just saying. Yeah. I can, I can see it. <laughs> Hang on. The flowers are a little more oh. bitter right now. I don't oh, know. No, it is kind of, yeah, it is. Look, look, look. Yeah, look, look. that's Anthony Kiedis. It yeah. really is Anthony no. Kiedis. <laughs> we'll do a side by side. We'll put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put it on Twitter. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll post it later. We'll it. <laughs> but all of that is to say, D and D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you, D and D Beyond. What a what a look into the future. Yeah. And what a bright future. First and foremost, a uh, big thank you to our uh, returning fantastic sponsors of this campaign, D and D Beyond. <laughs> Sam, if you don't Beyond. mind. <clears throat> Guys, I didn't know this. The D&D Beyond discount code, 826LA, is still active for the 25% off the Legendary Bundle. I did not know that. It will be expiring soon, so please make sure to check out the Legendary Bundle on the D&D Beyond Marketplace. Also, the site will be undergoing some maintenance tomorrow, Friday morning, starting at 7 a.m. Pacific. For a few hours, the site will be in read-only mode at this time. So, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, also, uh, the product director, Adam Br Bradford, will be hosting a stream at 9 a.m. Pacific during maintenance with some exciting announcements. Uh, Adam's great. Oh, uh, be sure to tune in to twitch.tv slash dndbeyond, not and, to check it all out. Um, and uh, just for my little extra here tonight, not getting lost in the fact that Travis and Laura are having the most a magical day of their lives and Liam is gone, I wanted to pay special tribute to our little Ashley, who's who's leaving us for a while. Yes. I feel like no. she should get some love, too, on her way out the door. <laughs> so I composed a song. Love you love. <laughs> I composed a song for you in the style of your favorite band, Boys to Men. <clears throat> uh, yes. Ah, how did you know? Yes. How do I say goodbye <laughs> Shit. <laughs> to our sweet, innocent harbinger of death, fallen angel? <laughs> On NBC, you play a geek, but you're a real one here with us every week. <laughs> If we get to visit your house, I hope Blindspot will let you play. <laughs> but until then, I hope Patterson dies every day. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's 
it's hard to do in a mustache. I can see the <laughs> so, yeah. lack of committing so to late. this all night. This is what I did the first time through the campaign. Holy so that's what I gotta do oh, this time. No. Holy oh, shit. No. <laughs> really? I thought this was for your opening gag. Me no, too. this is what I wore this, yeah, this no. time in the first campaign. I remember. So, so yeah. making your lip. It's so it's on so this stupid. show where Ashley is, is about to leave, Baby Bailey Ham has just been born. Yes. I'm in the woods, and we're about to move. You decided to wear that for the entire episode? I did not decide. <laughs> this was put upon me by the fates. That's... <laughs> you made that, though. Yeah, yeah. You I can't <laughs> unmake it. Yep, it is a thing. Congratulations. It's been a while. Is the monkey smoky or the bandit? I can never remember. The just here, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, well, as long as that on your face, you will get no sugar for me, Sam. No. <laughs> Good. no. Good. All right. Well, thank you very much, Dean, to be on. Thank you, uh, Sam, listen. foremost, our fantastic sponsor for this evening, and has been for quite some time, our friends at D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond! Sam, if you want to take that away. Uh, yes. They, uh, D&D Beyond wanted to uh, announce that their A26LA donation campaign has officially come to an end, and they've raised $11,400 for A26LA based on 114 natural <laughs> ones rolled through the end of June. June. We are terrible, but our bad luck is uh, the kids' good fortune. Um, the main thing that people have been wondering and uh, talking about on on the the Facebooks and stuff is the new baby. Travis and Laura aren't here. You guys m might have noticed, and everyone's like, "How was how was the birth? How how did it all go down two Thursdays ago?" And so. Uh, I have taken a little license, but I have scripted a bit of a radio play that we're all going to participate in <laughs> to, to, to show our viewers how it all went down two Thursdays ago and how the birth came to be. Uh, Talison will be narrating. I will be playing the role of Travis. Marisha will be playing the role of Laura. Sorry, Laura. Liam will be the doctor. A real job, Dad. Uh, and Matt will be uh, a couple different roles, okay. and uh, including Matt Mercer. Oh, and I can probably do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. This is a first performance of of its kind. Uh -huh. uh, take it away, <laughs> Talison. Exactly two weeks ago at the Willingham House. Babe, can you bring me some <laughs> onion rings and Miller Ice with lime? The Cowboys game starts in like six weeks, and I want to be ready. <laughs> Darling. Something magical is happening. Our boy, the magical light that will illuminate the universe, will join us soon. Huh? What, right now? But the cowboys! Travis, dear, your stallion is galloping to Earth. Humanity must welcome him with loving arms. Ugh, I'll get the stupid hospital bag. Later, in the hospital waiting room. <sighs> hey, Matt. Heads up, Laura's having that stupid baby. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll just throw out the next three weeks of story I'd planned out and totally rework everything to accommodate this. I don't need to sleep ever. Cool, cool, bro. Hey, can you also tape the Dallas Cowboys game for me? Meanwhile, inside the delivery room. Okay, Mrs. Willingham. It's Bailey. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I have uh, <laughs> checked your charts, and you should be in a lot of pain right now. I feel nothing but the sweet nectar of Mother Nature coursing through me. My love radiates like luminescent rainbows that will create a new life this day. Really? Well, uh, you should get ready for a long labor. This one could take up to 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it is done. <laughs> The mortal world has received its divine sheriff. What? That's medically impossible! You didn't even push! Does one need push for the summer to shine down its radiance upon us? Hmm? No. We merely bask in its glory. Lo, my baby is perfection. Yes, I am perfection. <laughs> Mother, I bring news from the womb. <laughs> the newly revamped digital character sheet for D&D Beyond is released. <laughs> What's been added? Improved desktop and tablet views. Better at-a-glance information. Additional ad-hoc customization. Custom themes, shareable links, and an updated PDF export. To celebrate, D&D Beyond is giving away a complete legendary bundle to a random viewer. To enter to win, go to twitter.com slash D&D Beyond, N, not and, and, uh, and Sybil, and ready to, and reply to the t pinned tweet with a shareable link for one of your D&D Beyond characters. The giveaway ends this Sunday night at midnight p.m. You are a miracle, baby. I love you. I love you, Mama Willingham. It's Bailey. 
and see. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. Oh. That was great. That was theater. That was that, that was strangely that was accurate. To yes. us two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. It was. You were fantastic as Laura Bailey. It was like Travis was here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my Travis is pretty good. Um, also uh, from D and D Beyond, <laughs> next Wednesday, July 18th at 1 p.m. Pacific uh, and Beyond, a new weekly stream hosted by Adam Bradford and Todd. Kenrick kicks off with super special guest Matthew Mercer. Hey. Did you know that? Did you know that? I didn't know okay, that. cool. <laughs> Each week, the show will cover not only D and D but also the guests' other passions outside of D and D, like D and D. Shenanigans will ensue. Have with me. <laughs> Shenanigans will ensue, so don't miss it. Be sure to check it out at twitchtv Beyond to watch. That's our sponsor shout out. Boom! Well done, Sam. Uh, Laura and Travis uh, direct all that fury at Sam's face. Send your emails. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, so, uh, we have our exact. fantastic sponsor for the campaign, our friends at D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond, everybody. As mentioned last week, the newly revamped digital character sheet for D&D Beyond has released. With improved desktop and tablet views, better at-a-glance information, all kinds of customization, and an updated PDF export. Ooh, I'm really excited awesome. about that. As you guys all remember, not you, uh, a couple months back, I asked critters, uh, who you critters out there, who use D and D Beyond, to write in and tell me about their D and D Beyond experiences. With the studio move and stuff, things got uh, lost. So some of the letters got lost uh, a little bit or misplaced, but we found them. And uh, so I'm going to read you some of the letters from from the fans. They're from a couple weeks ago. Dear Sam, loving D&D Beyond, just used their easy character creator to roll a brand new character after my favorite PC was tragically killed last week. I'm still really sad about it, but watching your show is taking my mind off the loss. I love how Critical Role doesn't remind me about that death all the time. So again, these are from a few weeks ago, so I haven't... <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> Dear Sam, my whole campaign uses D&D Beyond and their new shareable links really help us play faster. Side note, I love your interactions with Taliesin in this campaign. <laughs> Don't change that dynamic, it's perfect and I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dear Sam, uh, just signed up. These are from a couple weeks ago. <laughs> that is there the premise. <laughs> Dear Sam, you just, the truth. <laughs> Dear Sam, just signed up for a master level subscription at D and D Beyond, and all their content is so cool. I'm enclosing a photo of a tattoo I just got. It's my first, and I'm very proud, as you can see. That's Not and Molly Mock dancing together, and I know it's in cursive, so you might not be able to read that they're both saying, "We're gonna live forever." <laughs> what do you think? There was a picture included in that For my one. first action, I killed Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and last, last but not least, we got an actual letter from the D&D Beyond Corporation, uh, which also got lost and found. <laughs> it says, Dear Sam, hey, let's refrain, from anything, uh, let's refrain from anything sad or emotional in your ads this week. We want players to associate our app with fun, not intense loss that might trigger feelings of pain or misery. Keep it light! Do one of those dumb songs you write. Oh, and give our love to Taliesin. He's our favorite, and he's the only reason we advertise on your show. <laughs> uh, I could not have planned it because those are from weeks ago, Matt. Yes. I love that you lost the printed out email letters in our move. Everyone used the same paper, stock, and font. Yeah. <laughs> and they look really pristine. All right, all right. <laughs> One of them was fake. <laughs> thank you, Sam. Sure. And thank you, our friends at D&D Beyond. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> hey, you gotta, you gotta laugh. Beginning with uh, our fantastic no. sponsor and friends at D&D Beyond. Sam. D&D Beyond. Everybody, two new products have been announced on D&D Beyond. The Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, uh, alternate title is That's So Ravnica, available for pre-order now on the D&D Beyond Marketplace, officially will be released on November 9th, and also The Wayfarer's Guide to Eberron, alternate title The Werfender's Gird to Eberron, <laughs> available for purchase now on the D&D Beyond Marketplace. As a reminder, anyone who already has purchased the Legendary Bundle can pre-order or purchase these 
and any future content at a 15% discount, everyone. Ooh, Ooh. La la. Which is a savings know. baked right in. Um, uh, I've been using D&D Beyond for a while now, and they, they just redid their layout. It took me a while to get used to it. So for those of you at home uh, using D&D Beyond, I've, I have a, like a couple of like tips, pointers for the new layout to remind myself like where, where, no. where things are laid out. Um, so it's like little mnemonics. It's a weird thing. So on the right, you can, on the right side of the screen, you can remember L-E-F. So right is sort of like left, left sort of. And that's where loot, equipment, and features are. Uh, on the left uh, is uh, IAA, insight and awareness. So I'll just write that down here. Uh-huh. Uh, and then in the middle is ATR, which are things that you can add to roll. A T R. I have a mounting sense of dread. Uh, <laughs> and right up top uh, is M MST. Oh no. Which is which is makes make, make saving throws. That's what you add to make saving throws. And that's just sort of like just Sam's little guide to uh, to how you how you can remember the layout of D and D Beyond. And that's it. Thank you, Sam. I hope that was as useful to you folks as it will never be to any of us. Um, and thank you, D&D Beyond, for being First, awesome. First, we sponsor. have our fantastic returning sponsor, our wonderful friends at D&D Beyond. Yeah. Sam, if you don't mind. D&D uh, Beyond did not want me to sing a song, so I have one. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll try to get through it quick because we have so much to do. <clears throat> D&D Beyond's our sponsor today. They got a lot of things they want me to say. Like the discount code for new editions and their booth outside at intermission. But I'm sorry I'm not saying those things because when I'm inspired, I just got to sing. I'm in a ridiculous pink frock and 2,600 critters are ready to rock. <laughs> At Gen Con, I'm surrounded by my friends Con. Ashley and Marisha, Matt Tallison Con. <laughs> They'll be my side till the end Con. At Gen Con, there's a second verse, I'll go through it fast. <laughs> D&D Beyond might drop us tonight. Because what I'm doing here, it just ain't right. I'm not advertising their Facebook page or telling you the promo code GenCon 2018 is, is what it is, like I promised backstage. <laughs> but this little stud's gotta follow his heart and maybe some other body parts. <laughs> so if they wanna know who to blame, why don't you just tell them by shouting my name? Yeah! <laughs> At GenCon, I'm not even gonna pretend con. My outfit definitely offends Khan. <laughs> you can all see my rear end Khan <laughs> at Gen Con. Thank you. <laughs> but, but seriously, they are giving away a legendary bundle on their Facebook page, and they're offering up a special discount code, Gen Con 2018, for 25% off any digital product. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sam, and thank so you. So tonight we have two fantastic sponsors. Our first, our wonderful returning sponsors for campaign two, our friends at D and D Beyond. <laughs> Sam, D and D Beyond. Um, thanks to D and D Beyond for sponsoring uh, and helping out with the live show. Your sponsorship dollars will help our cast pay for the therapy they need after seeing my junk so close <laughs> and personal. Um, it's been a while since uh, uh, Travis and Laura were here, and this is their first show at the new studio, so D&D uh, &D Beyond wanted me to bring them up to speed, to catch them up uh, with things, with all things uh, uh, CR. So, here's your update, you might want to take notes. <clears throat> Laura, the new Wi-Fi password is Dallas Sucks with an X. <laughs> Travis, we rented out your parking spot to Brian Foster. Oh, good. The Absolutely. cardboard box he lives in will be parked there until September 15th. Uh, 
the I way thought he was in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> the Wayfarer's Guide to Eberron, cave. the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica are both available on D&D oh, oh, Beyond. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Travis, while you were gone, we discovered Ford's middle name is Bronco, so that's canon now. Oh, okay. Laura, while you were gone, your dice were all loaned to Will Wheaton for a little while. Oh, no. The break room is open to all, but from 9 to 11 in the morning, Max uses it to poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a code system for reser- reserving the makeup room so no one walks in. If you're breastfeeding, hang a sock on the door. Got it. If you're waxing Sam Regal's chest hair, you hang a bandana on the door. <laughs> and if you're having sex, you leave the door open because that's kinky. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Travis, we reinforced your chair to accommodate your baby weight. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, in it too. <laughs> Laura, you are a perfect creature who creates magical life with the power of womanhood. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Talison's new character is a cleric, so you don't have to heal anyone. Fuck yeah. Uh, Liam shaved. <laughs> Liam shaved. It's Ashley's birthday. Marisha no longer thinks sleeves are bullshit. Now she thinks they're assholes. <laughs> Uh, all fur blogs bulls know each other. If you go, uh, if you go number one, please use the bathroom marked Pia Stock. If you go number two, use the bathroom marked Hupper Duke. Uh, <laughs> and there are flies motherfucking everywhere in the studio. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you, thank you, Sam. Thank you, D and D Beyond, D&D Beyond <laughs> for sponsoring that inane list. <laughs> I appreciate that. I had a, uh, I had a fur blog in the uh, early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Updated it every day. <laughs> First and foremost, we have our fantastic uh, friends and uh, glorious sponsors who campaign to, thus far, D and D Beyond. D&D Beyond. Yesterday, guys, was D and D Beyond's. First one, first one year anniversary. Wow. <laughs> Take two. Hey guys, yesterday was D and D Beyond's one year anniversary. Wish them a happy birthday on their Facebook and Twitter pages. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, or just right there. Yeah. Uh, also, as a reminder, D and D Beyond streams their weekly show called And Beyond every Wednesday on Twitch.tv/dndbeyond. It's not a. Uh, it's. Take two. <laughs> I was going to say it's not three, great three conversations, pick up. but no, pick up. pick up. It's got great conversations with special <laughs> guests like Matt Mercer and Mike Merles and other guests with MM names. Um, and that's it. That's the, whole, that's the whole announcement. But I recently went to Virginia, and so I got inspired oh boy. to write a country song <laughs> for D&D Beyond. Is that what that hat is? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Sit this out again. That hat. Michelle's on it. Kind of I was going to learn this on the guitar, but then I realized oh, I don't really play yeah. guitar. So. <laughs> <laughs> when would that stop? <laughs> All right. Here's my country song for D&D Beyond. Okay. <clears throat> my baby left me on the 4th of July. I crept. Take two. Take four. Okay, I'm ready. Settle. 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 (laughs) My baby left me on the 4th of July. I cried red, white, and blue. Got in my Chevy, popped open the cores, and moseyed on over to you. Opened the trailer, played some Johnny Cash, kicked off my cowboy boots, and sat. Got my character sheet and my daddy's dice, cause Alexandria's where it's at, D and D Beyond. <laughs> oh. Be my girl tonight. Oh. Roll me close, crit me tight. <laughs> I gotta pick up a 12 gauge and American flag, but it's you that makes me feel all right. D and D Beyond. Be my girl tonight. There's another verse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trucked across the heartland from Dallas to Memphis and back. <laughs> but Iman's the place I miss the most where I want to hang my hat. <laughs> so, so darling, call the Piggly Wiggly and tell him you're going to be late. Turn off your phone because your cowboy's home. Get ready for an all-night date. d and Beyond. Be my girl tonight. Roll me clothes. Crit me tight. I got some illegal fireworks, a smokehouse, a new tractor, a hunting dog, my mama's Bible, some Frito pie, NASCAR tickets, a deer license, some new tires, a handle of Southern Comfort, but it's you that makes me feel all right. d and Beyond. Be my girl tonight. 
that? No. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Official oh, Southern oh, things. Yeah, I'm not totally sure if we'll animate that one. <laughs> but... <laughs> I get tired. Okay. If, yeah. if we've taken anything from that, we now have the mental image of a country Sam enjoying an all-night oh, date with his D and D Beyond. Yes. Uh, thank you. You and your computer. Oh, <laughs> thank you, D and D Beyond, for your sponsorship and allowing such magical moments like this to happen. What are you doing in there, Sam? I'm just looking at my spells. <laughs> First and foremost, uh, I believe. If Sam is ready, it looks like he's stretching himself. We have our fantastic sponsor for the campaign, too. Since day one, our friends at D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond. D &D Beyond, everybody. There's such great sponsors. They've been putting up with my shenanigans for so long. So tonight, I thought I would just do a simple, normal ad read for them, just singing their praises of the service, of the company, of how they're making D&D &D fun and easy again. So uh, I just wrote a little, quick little, I left it at home on my printer. Oh no. But it's okay, it's okay, no problem. I'm like, a, I'm essentially like an improv god, right? So I'll just, <laughs> I'll just. Uh, According to Reddit. I'll make something up <laughs> on the fly. Uh, I'll just go from the heart. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, I like D and D Beyond. Uh, uh, um. uh, damn it, Sam! You're blowing it. Come on, come up with something, anything. Uh, because it works on PCs and Macintosh, uh, and and that's very important because. What? That's the best you got? Macintosh? What is this, 1997? Say something that helps them sell subscriptions. Uh, and their logo uh, is um, neat. Their um, logo is neat? <laughs> Were you kicked in the head by a donkey? Okay, forget the product. Just be funny. Tell a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a priest and a rabbi uh, walk oh, into a strip oh. club no, and... No, 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 no. Are you trying to offend people? Look, just sing a song. At least Laura will pretend to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get, get, get you drunk. Get you love drunk on my humps. My humps, my humps. Stop right That's now. Really you are an idiot. Ugh. Why did I make a satanic deal with you? Your everlasting soul isn't worth this bullshit. I, Mephistopheles, hereby release you from our pact. Go on, live your life without my constant help and sense of humor. Sam Regal, I, Satan, am done with you. Oh. <laughs> wow. Guys, I suddenly feel... I feel... I feel, I feel like that was a great D and D Beyond ad. Wow. And scene. Wow. <laughs> that really zigged when I thought I was gonna zag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. I will say, unfortunately, without Satan at your back, I don't think you're allowed to play Dungeons and Dragons yeah. anymore. Yeah. It's kind of a requirement if kind you, like yeah. you don't know. <laughs> The table's not a free ticket, man. Yeah, but the 80s taught us anything. Hey, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> thank you, yeah, Sam. <laughs> and thank you, our friends at D&D &D Beyond. Uh, first and foremost, we have two wonderful sponsors tonight, beginning first with our friends at D&D &D Beyond. D &D Beyond. Yeah. Is this me? That's you, okay. Sam. Guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually nervous. Yeah, Guys, the number nine has been very important to us, and tonight it's important for another reason. D&D Beyond wants you to know that at 9 p.m. tonight, the Waterdeep Dragon Heist Adventure releases on D&D Beyond. Ooh. It's 9 p.m. Pacific. Uh, that's in two hours, so it'll officially be available for purchase through D&D Beyond Marketplace. Don't forget to pick it up in a couple of hours. Set your alarms. Uh, we'll probably remind you when nine o'clock comes around. Um, but that's not all. The number nine is special for other weird reasons. Oh boy. This Sunday, September 9th, or 9-9, is the first game of the regular season for Travis's favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. They're already ranked top of their conference, as much as it pains me to say. Um, Travis, two years ago, they won nine straight games. <laughs> Last year, they won how many regular season games? Nine. Nine, yes, and this year in training camp, the standout defensive player was none other than Antoine Woods, number 99. <laughs> 
to honor this amazing concurrence of the number nine, I have done the unthinkable. I am wearing <gasps> a Dallas oh. Cowboys t-shirt. Oh and guys, I have to say, Inside check. it feels pretty good. It feels, <laughs> it feels pretty, pretty outstanding. I mean, actually kind of feels, what's wrong, Sam? It feels a little odd. Oh God, what's, what is, oh, what? what's happening? Oh God, it feels really weird. Oh my God. Oh, oh God, guys, Sam, I think so my heart gross. exploded. <laughs> oh God, guys, I think I'm. No, no. <laughs> oh my God. No, he died because of, he died because of the shirt. We have to get the shirt off of him. Just don't we have to get the shirt off. Are you an accomplice in this fucking thing? We have to thing. take it off of him, quick. <sighs> <gasps> oh, 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 wow. Oh, guys. <laughs> guys, it was the shirt. <laughs> you know what? I'm and okay with this. I feel have better. You blood on my fucking clothes. You have to play like that all night. There <laughs> go. <laughs> and definitely blood on the wormwood. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, that's, no. That's every, oh, wow. That's everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New level. <laughs> Hope it was worth it. <laughs> he, he told me to do it. It's everywhere. Blood. You believed <laughs> it went, you it just went down down instead of, this. of up, didn't it? Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. Oh, do you have a change of pants? Oh, bloody crotch. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. You calm down the thunder and you paid for it. Oh, look, guys. The point is, he's alive. The point is, nine o'clock tonight, guys. D and D Beyond. Blood. I love you, Travis. Go Dallas. Good That's why you wouldn't hug me before the show. No hugs before the show when you're up to shit. I saw Max holding that tubing. I should have asked. You're gonna be should've so known. sticky. And a ma it, is it, what's it taste like? What's it taste like? Peppermint? Just. just Mmm, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately no, you know, yeah. immediately you I don't think it's mouth blood. <laughs> no, it's, there's, yeah. there's different types for, oh, for on camera sorry. stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, Sam, oh, God. I'm, I'm happy you're healthy yeah. and that you survived this terrible Special assault. Special effects, you, guys. Yeah. Well done. I guess Laura, the, uh, were, you, were you recruited to help with she that? She texted me saying, Is Travis going to be upset with me? Because he didn't. And tell I was me like, what No, was it's just, he's just going to be upset with me. Mm -hmm. You. I'm actually very proud of you. <laughs> I guess the rest of us just can't understand the pressure of coming up with the D&D &D Beyond bit. <laughs> Every he week. finally snapped. He <laughs> covered himself in fake blood. <laughs> yeah, I kind of jumped nice the shark on that sorry, one, man. Sorry, sorry. Literally yeah. like More announcements, guys. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Sam, and you thank you. Go take a flash D &D shower. I got you one of these. Fantastic sponsors returning from earlier, from the very beginning of the campaign, our friends at D and D Beyond. <laughs> Sam. Hey, everyone, it's me, Sam Regal, the wackiest guy in D and D, to tell you about D and D Beyond. I love D&D Beyond because it helps me organize my character, not the brave, so I can concentrate on being zany and doing Knott's voice. Oh, do the voice, Dave. You're so good at <sighs> okay. it. Okay. Uh, pip pip cheerio uh, mystery solved, <laughs> roar buttons. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, really so, anyway, so being wacky Sam Riggle means I get to tell you that Waterdeep Dragon Heist is now available on dndbeyond.com and will guide your Waterdeep campaigns from level 1 to 5. For levels 5 to 20, explore the legendary Undermountain Dungeon below the city with Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which is available for pre-order and will release on November 2nd. And you guys said, on? Wait, Max, but, are you in my seat? But Travis, okay. Um, go, go away! Get, go, go! What? He was a really good What the fuck is happening? Travis, you emailed me. You said we were starting at 7.15 tonight. Did, did you lie to me? No. Yes, okay, look, listen, man, it's nothing personal. It's just last week's spot was a little rough, right? And we needed to have a yeah. safe, non-offensive spot this week. And you thought no one could tell the difference between me and Max? Uh, honestly, I'm, I didn't I'm, know I'm, I'm still not sure which of you is. I'm yeah. Sam! I'm uh, Sam! I don't know if uh, you are. Are you Max? I'm so, I'm offended at this, guys. My spots are not controversial in any way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you write something for tonight? 
Yes, I do. I have it on my phone. Did it involve fart sounds, offensive stereotypes, cursing, violence, inappropriate uses of kickle, pickles and or cucumbers? <laughs> Kickles? It might have, yes. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You can't be trusted, dude. Listen, just read what we wrote for you there. It's 100% safe, non-offensive, and the jokes are approved, so go ahead. Fine. Fine. <clears throat> oh, wow. Uh, <clears throat> it's me, Sam Regal, <laughs> the wackiest guy in D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. Telling you to head on over to D&D &D Beyond, where their new content is like anti-gravity, it's impossible to put down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. On D&D &D Beyond, my, my username is Benefits. That way, if you add me to your party, it'll say we're friends with Benefits. No, seriously though, my real username is Forrest Gump and my password is 1Forrest1. One oh, <laughs> even better coming out yes. of your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you write this? Yeah, come on, just wrap it up. Let's go. So funny, well, waka waka waka, <laughs> thanks D&D Beyond. This is Wacky San Regal saying, go Dallas, fuck you. Back to you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was great, Matt. Very safe, very safe. Good. I, 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 I liked long-haired Sam. <laughs> yeah, can we switch here after already. the intro? It's a can we just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, thank you, D&D &D Beyond. Thank you, Sax, Matt, Ma I'm Sam. You're Ma'am. Smacks. Uh, Smacks, I like that, we'll go with that. <laughs> As we give a big shout out and thanks to our two sponsors for tonight's episode, starting with our friends at D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> Sam. As I said last week, the Waterdeep Dragon Heist is now available on D&D &D Beyond as Max said last week, <laughs> and they'll guide you your Waterdeep campaign from levels one to five. After that, explore the legendary Undermountain Dungeon below the city with Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage for levels five through 20. Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage is available for pre-order on D&D Beyond and will release November 2nd. Now, because D&D Beyond is such a generous sponsor to this show, mm -hmm. Laura. Mm -hmm. They, uh, I just wanted to show the audience some of what we do with that sponsorship money. We take it and we turn it into uh, this amazing studio, which has amazing uh, equipment and after effects and editing suites and cool special effects. So we put together a really cool ad for them using all the equipment. And if you guys would turn to the monitor and see what we made. What? Hi guys, as you know, we love D&D &D Beyond. It's easy to use, the interface is super high tech. Since their sponsorship helps us make this show, we thought we'd use all the cutting edge editing software in our fabulous new studio to make D&D &D Beyond a mind-blowing special effects ad. <laughs> Explosions, I assume. For instance, look at my face. Looks normal now, right? But when we add high-tech CGI effects, oh, I look like a beholder! Roar! Anti-magic cone, D&D Beyond! Okay, reset. Now check out, uh, check out this awesome face swapping feature. Okay, right now I look like Sam Regal, but now, boop! Oh, I'm Matt Mercer. Welcome to Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors get to look at how handsome I am. Oh, now I'm doing a Cajun accent. Okay, reset. <clears throat> But that's not all. Now it looks like I'm holding nothing, right? Right? But now with special effects, oh, I've got an adorable blink dog in my hands. Oh, he's a nugget so cute. And reset. Wow, that was just a taste of the amazing special effects that D&D Beyond sponsorship covers here at the studio. Thanks D&D Beyond, and if you don't mind, Scotty, beam me up. I'm probably gone by now, right? That was great. Uh, thanks, Max. I, I can't wait to, to see how it cuts together. And I can't wait to see all the effects. <laughs> they didn't put any fucking effects on it. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I mean, we had it all mapped out. It was gonna be, mm. it was gonna be amazing. Yeah. And now yeah. it's just. It's really lame. It's pretty lame and also kind of insulting to Max. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be honest about it. <laughs> Sorry to the audience and sorry to D&D Beyond. Back to you, Matt. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Uh, uh, yep, more evidence why we should see the return of Max Better Sam James. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, um. Samus Christ. <laughs> Oh, one of these days, one of these days, your escalation is going to be the end of us all. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. For D and Beyond, I brought a loaded gun. <laughs> one of these days, one of these days. <laughs> Guys, it's really amazing. Oh my god! Uh, our good friends for the whole campaign, D and D Beyond, which we'll get to in just a second, and uh, tonight, our, uh, a recurring friend who's come by to say hi for this episode, our friends at Backblaze. Yeah, Backblaze. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh my god. Uh, this time next week, we'll be doing this show in New York City. Yeah! New York City! Get a rope. So I thought I would write <laughs> Backblaze, a New York style Broadway advertisement to celebrate. Hit it, boys! Dateline, the Big Apple. 42nd Street is buzzing with the latest smash Broadway sensation, Backblaze. The dazzling new musical the Times calls Aces, Keen, the best cloud-based backup storage musical since Cats. <laughs> Theater critic Yev Bradley raves, all my data, movies, music, and character sheets were copied to a secure location, and that was just act one. <laughs> Dames and fellas alike are shaking a leg to Backblaze on Broadway with music by Andrew Lloyd website. <laughs> <laughs> and Cameron and Mac or PC. Oh, <laughs> the spectacle features glitzy stars like Data Rivera, Computer Streisand, <laughs> and the young starlet Angela Lansbury. <laughs> <laughs> Backblaze will get your toes tapping with songs like Some Enchanted Upload, I Could Have Backed Up All Night, and I've Grown Accustomed to Her Encryption. <laughs> Plus, Blaza Manelli and her tap dancing hard drives. Punky Winker Bean of the New York Daily News hails, I've never seen a closing number where the lead character reinstalls an operating system from a backup disc he received via the mail. I smell Tony. The best part? Oh my God. Tickets are just $5 a month. That's a five spot with no gimmicks. Add-ons or gotchas. <laughs> Go to backblaze.com slash critical roll to start a free trial and let them know Crit Roll sent ya. Curtain up, light the lights, run, don't walk to Backblaze on Broadway! Oh, yes. yes. Bravo! Bravo! Bravo. Oh, oh, yeah. I like that one of your own shitty puns made you drop the voice entirely. <laughs> oh, <it's okay. laughs> Sam is my favorite when he's judging his own jokes. <laughs> Thank you, Talison, for this this stunning, this stunning Broadway yeah, style. Second, second appearance now on the roll. I feel like someone needs to name a bong Blaza Minnelli, by the way. Blaza oh, pretty good. Yeah. That's a, that's a yeah. perfect bong name. A Get to one. it, critters. <laughs> No, we have our fantastic sponsor for the evening. Yes. Uh, since the beginning of the campaign, our good friends at D&D Beyond. Yeah. D&D Beyond, guys, uh, you know them, you love them, and to celebrate Critical Ro Role Live in New York, D&D Beyond has set up a discount code just for, uh, just for a limited time. It'll get you 25% off digital books on the D&D Beyond marketplace, but you gotta use this code, and I'm not making this up, it's Sam is our hero. <laughs> um, uh, so go, go check it out. I, in fact, I'm so flattered that they named their code after me that I wrote a little Broadway song. <laughs> Can't even hear the pitch. Duh. Okay, uh, about, uh, about their discount code, Sam is our hero. Okay, I'm going to sing it a cappella. <clears throat> Sam is our hero is the code to use To buy your books at steeply discount rates When you go to D&D &D Beyond Just mention me Sam is our hero and he's handsome too Look at that smile and such a boyish face Oh my god these lyrics are so crappy. Why did I agree? <laughs> this crowd is loving my song. They think it's likely too long. I'll win a Tony Award after all. I'll do whatever it takes. This was an awful mistake. I cannot wait for our curtain call. Oh. Sam then is ruining Hamilton. I hope the audience knows that Ashley told him no. 
And we know no, that we should start the game now But it's such a pretty song for D&D &D Beyond So we sang it anyway Bid day, bid day Sam is our hero, yeah Okay, Matt, take it away. Oh my God! Amazing. Thank you, Sam and Ashley, and thank you, our friends at D and D Beyond, and thank you, Hamilton, for hopefully enduring that terrible butchering of a wonderful piece of music. I think when Lin-Manuel wrote the song, he thought that it would be used in a D&D Beyond ad eventually. I think it was hard to avoid down yeah, the road. Yeah. We have our fantastic well, returning sponsor, our friends since the beginning of campaign two, D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond. Uh, Beyond just released, this is actually kind of exciting, just released the new creatures section. Uh, users now have a place to add any type of monster stat block for easy reference during play. You can add your favorite wild shape or familiar forms, keep up with your ranger's companion, yeah. hey. summon creatures, mounts, ferrets, uh, or what do we have, a weasel? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> followers and more. You can also track hit points and customize the name and stats for all your creatures. And to celebrate, I've crafted a quick little trivia quiz for Laura. Oh. No, we'll start with Laura. We'll start. Okay. Bounce around. No. I searched through D&D Beyond's list of oh, actual no. familiars listed on their site. I will name four creatures. One of these is actually a board game. The other three are actual D and D familiars, okay. which is the board game, and not a familiar. Okay. A. Boggle. B. <laughs> Jewy Blex. <laughs> C. Pudding King. D. Unstable Unicorns. Boggle. Incorrect. What? No boggle. I said which is a g board game and not a familiar. A boggle is also a familiar. <laughs> 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 Unstable <laughs> Unicorns is the correct Stupid. answer. <laughs> Unstable. <laughs> Talison, yes. one of these is a West Hollywood bar. <laughs> Ready. Three of these are D&D &D familiars. Which is the real bar? The Naughty Pig. <laughs> the Man Trap. The Steel Predator. The cockatrice. <laughs> which which of these is, is the a bar. real bar? Uh, the naughty pig. Correct. <laughs> I know my West Hollywood bars, man. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Marisha, no. one of these is an Australian candy. The other are beasts on the list. <laughs> which is the real Australian candy? An alfen <laughs> Musk stick. All of Australia turning up. Okay, jelly. <laughs> Veggie pygmy. What? What was the last one? Veggie pygmy. <laughs> no, that's not a. It was. What's, what's B? Musk stick. You got it correct. Hey! From Australia. Is it familiar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna skip the next one. Go straight to uh, to Travis. Sorry, Liam. You you lose. Um, no, I'll do I'll do Liam's too. Okay. One of these is a Kama Sutra position. The other three are beasts. Which is a Kama Sutra position? The flying snake. The, the curled flower. Cold flower. Curled Curl flower. flower. The stench cow. Oh. Or the corpse flower. Which one is the uh, Kama Sutra sexy one? position? Come on. Which one is? Yes. Yes. No, yes. Run through those really fast. Uh -huh. Flying snake, curled flower, stench cow, corpse flower. Oh god, too fast. You got it. Pick one. Go corpse with flower. It. Corpse flower. Corpse flower. The only thing I can remember he said it too fast. Curled flower oh, well, is. Yeah. Corpse flower. <laughs> All right. Speed round. I'm still going. <laughs> Travis. Yes. I'm gonna say pairs of names. One of each is a world wrestling entertainment wrestler. The other is a D and D familiar. <laughs> Grung or Mojo Rowley. Uh, oh, oh shit! Say the one that's the wrestler. <laughs> Grung or Mojo Rowley? Grung. No. Mojo Rowley. M Man <laughs> Manchun or Fandango? Uh, Manchun. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Crotta or Lou Albano? Lou Albano. <laughs> uh, uh, Anis Hag or Grand Metallic? Grand Metallic. Correct. And one more. Gif or Mert? <laughs> They're both beasts. Oh, They're yeah. both beasts. Hey! 
I don't. I don't think Mert would appreciate being called oh a beast. <laughs> I don't know what but a familiar, are. perhaps. A sure. familiar. A familiar. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sam. Sure. Wow. And thank you, D and D Beyond. Wow. Good question. Yeah. I did a lot of research good. on D and D Beyond today. <laughs> it was fascinating to scroll through the list of beasts and familiars. I'm especially impressed you found the, the list of West Hollywood bars on D and D Beyond. Oh, yeah. That's really <laughs> that's an obscure. That's, that's an obscure it. graph. It's amazing. It's amazing the reach the. Program has now. So thank you, yeah. DD Beyond, Can you for your sponsorship. Go <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch them all. First and foremost, we wrap tonight our fantastic returning sponsor for campaign to our friends at DD Beyond. <laughs> Sam! Uh, hi, guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> so tonight's uh, tonight's uh, ad copy was a little long, uh, so I tried to make like a nursery rhyme out of it or something. I couldn't I couldn't crack it. I couldn't get make it funny. So instead, I'm just I decided I'm just gonna read the copy while they paint my face. <laughs> that is the bit. Um, Laura and Travis have free reign to paint anything they want this on my Talison, face. This is Talisman. This is Talisman. Oh, what did I say? While I'm painting your face. Uh, D and D Beyond has teamed up with Beetle and Grimm's Pandemonium. Warehouse on the Platinum Edition of Waterdeep Dragon Heist, which releases in November. If you don't know what Beetle and Grimm's Pandemonium is, it's the brainchild of friend of the show, Matt Lillard. They make these fantastic boxes filled with the, all the elements a Dungeon Master needs to create an amazing experience. That's in my eye. Oh. <laughs> oh, say it say with me, you did it to yourself. Uh, with maps and counter cards and one of a kind figures to make your tabletop experience come to life. But that's not all. Every Beetle and Grimm's Waterdeep tra Dragon Heist <laughs> Platinum box sold will include access to Waterdeep Dragon Heist on D&D oh no. Beyond! The best I would have and for it. the next week, Beetle and Grimm's <laughs> is offering a $50 discount to purchase the box for registered D&D Beyond users. That's $50! With the money you save, you could buy two Critical Role sleeveless Keyfish t-shirts, now available in the Crit Roll shop, or <laughs> one Not the Brave t-shirt and one All Work no play t-shirt that doesn't exist yet <laughs> but I digress this ad isn't about the merch that I want to make for our beloved Malaysian fans it's about <laughs> D&D Beyond and specifically Beetle oh <laughs> Beetle and Grimm's Waterdeep Dragon Heist to get your discount code go to dndbeyond.com slash promotions slash platinum you can also check out beetleandgrimms.com that's B E a D L E and G R I M M S dot com slash spoilers for more information on what's included in the platinum box. There's over 140 items in each box. Some highlights include six pieces of original jewelry, 22 Nolzers unpainted minis. They're actually pretty cool. A beautiful four panel DM screen created especially for Waterdeep. All sorts of maps and much more. So in conclusion, get the discount, get the box, get the savings, and watch all work, no play. <laughs> Thank you, Laura and Talison. How do I look? You you look about as good a job as Jester did to Yasha last week. Yeah. Snake person. Yeah, good job. You look better than you smell. That's am I am I something or is it just you're, you're, you're something just all right? Dicks. Wow, you tra like there was kind of an explosion on the left side of your face. Involved, and then you got yeah. punched on the right side of your face. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of great. It's uh, I put it in a natural two. <laughs> yeah, no, well, my natural one was doing real it looks like you're a lot of Raw meat, like it looks like you got bloody raw yeah. meat on your I lower. Like if not, I was trying to go for a, a Bowie vibe. Yeah. All right. But Sam, how's it smell? It smells like farts. <laughs> Context, context. Oh, oh, oh. The face paint never, smells like farts. It started rolling that this paint smells like farts. <laughs> it's awful. But only when it's painted on a human face. No, it's so <laughs> 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 get sick about a halfway point. Beetle and Grimm's, dndbeyond.com slash promotions slash platinum. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you, uh, and, uh, fantastic return. Second sponsor for tonight are our friends at DD Beyond. <laughs> Sam. If you have somehow still not checked out D&D Beyond, it is the official digital tool set for Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. Everything is there at your fingertips. The source books, the digital character sheets, the homebrew content creation. Go to dndbeyond.com now to check out how easy they make playing D&D. Now, 
You guys all know that first and foremost, I am a filmmaker. And I am proud to announce that tonight, I've teamed with D&D &D Beyond to create my first ever foray into stop motion animation. No. You did not. I don't want to say that it's better than The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. <laughs> but I'll let you guys say that. Um, wait till you see it for yourself. Uh, let's roll my Shut film. Oh my god, what have you done? Oh my goodness. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 Bum 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 ba bum ba 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 bum 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 ba. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god. You know, it was any any film like this is a collaborative process. I have so many people I want to thank. Oh, I'll try so to keep humble. it quick. Oh, no. Our cinematographer, uh, Giuseppe Fister, wonderful work, <laughs> powerful work. Our gaffer, Blumpkin Styles, the most daring in the biz. Sound mixer, Randy Cockburn, didn't think you could pull it off like that. Best boy, Mike Litteris, I can't believe I found you. The produ our producer, Willie Stroker, you've got a finger on the pulse, sir. Oh, Casting director, no. Ima Dumas, and of course my agents at CAA, Amanda Hump, Keeper Cummings, Dixon Beavers, Harry Sachs, Otto B. McCracken, Wilma Fingerdo, Irma Wanker, <laughs> Drew P. Weiner. No, I'm sorry, Drew P. Weiner. Uh, thank you all for believing in this project. Also, the, my inspiration, my mentor, Hugh Janus. Uh, oh, Mr. Yeah, Janus, yeah. wherever he is, I think Hugh Janus is smiling down on all of us tonight. And of course, D&D &D Beyond, we did it, guys. It took three years, but we did it. Thank you. Well done. Oh, oh, thank you, Sam, oh, and thank you, our friends at D&D Beyond oh for making this happen on a weekly basis. Wow. <laughs> we had a Halloween party yesterday. How did you have time for that? Oh, We were in London two days three years, ago. Three years it's been in the works. So. And we, it's, uh, yeah, it's been in post wow. for months. Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad that you know, DreamWorks is willing to work with you based on how much Disney you would do.